Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, February 20th. Tesla is reportedly considering to buy Brazil-based lithium miner Sigma Lithium, which is currently valued at $3 billion. With the rapidly rising costs of key materials for battery production, Tesla has announced that it's getting into the mining business, starting with buying lithium claims on 10,000 acres in Nevada. That was actually two years ago, and we haven't heard much in terms of raw materials other than purchase agreements. But now, a new report puts potential acquisition targets on Sigma Lithium. Sigma Lithium's biggest shareholder, which is A10 Investmentos, is a Brazilian private equity fund, which is considering pushing for a sale of the company. They're currently talking to potential bidders. Sigma Lithium's stock price has tripled over the last year, making it more difficult for an acquisition target. As a matter of fact, after the recent news, their stock shot up another 24%. In the release notes of the latest Tesla full self-driving beta version 11, Tesla explains what is happening to Autopilot with the new update and adds a capability to send voice feedback. The update is an important step because it includes many new neural networks, as Elon Musk stated, but from a consumer's perspective, it also has an important feature that will merge Tesla's full self-driving beta software stack, primarily used on roads and city streets, with Tesla's autopilot software stack, which is used as a level two driver's assist system on highways. It has been delayed several times, but recently must confirm that the new version, which is version 11.3, is going to be going to close beta this week. The release notes published by Not A Tesla App show some interesting things. There's actually a sizable portion of the notes that appears to be focused on curbing potential dangerous driving behavior that has recently been described by the NHTSA. Another interesting feature is revealed by the release notes, the capacity to send voice memos about your full self-driving experience to Tesla. That's something that beta testers have been asking for for a while, as they can use it to give Tesla more details about the specific situation that they experience. There is a large list of added features and improvements. You can check that out on our site, electrek.co. This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. Tesla dropped the price of its CCS combo adapter to just $175, making the prospect of fast charging at any DC fast charging station relatively a good prospect for most Tesla owners. The adapter, which previously cost $250, is now 25% off. However, the company isn't advertising the price as a sale, so it could be a new price. Not all Tesla owners can take advantage of the adapter, however, some vehicles made before 2020 require a retrofit, which Tesla has offered but has not yet started implementing. <music> Nissan is slashing the price on its first electric SUV, the Nissan Aria, in China, and they're doing so to remain competitive in the market. Nissan's joint venture in China, which is called Dongfeng Nissan, is showcasing the promotion on the front page of their website. The limited time discount is good for up to 60,000 yuan, which is roughly $8,700. That means that the starting price is around 32,800. The move follows Toyota, which dropped the price of their electric SUV by about 15%. And that Toyota move follows Xpeng, which follows Tesla. <laughs> the EV price war has been a little slower here in the US, with Lucid Motors and VinFast jumping in early, but not a whole lot of action since then. This is quite the twist of news, but Lightyear has announced plans for a new company entirely focused on getting their short-lived Lightyear 2 vehicle into production. 2023 has been a tough year for solar electric vehicle startups, in particular, Netherlands-based Lightyear. In late December, we were celebrating the start of production for their flagship vehicle called the Lightyear Zero. A month later, the company had officially opened a waitlist for their next car, the Lightyear 2. 
But then a few days later, they announced that they had officially filed and been approved for bankruptcy. And now the email list of prior people that had signed up has been graced with the news that the company will begin again, and their mission is to bring that vehicle to the wait list so far. The capital to start the new company was raised primarily by Individual Investors Group. Lightyear states that its intellectual property will be brought over to the new version of the company as collateral for all stakeholders. We wish Lightyear the best of luck in getting their solar electric vehicle on the road. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Larry Davidson says, You look young with your beard gone. Thank you, Mickey G. Well, thank you very much, Larry. I turned back the clock just a little bit. Someday, I'll get some white hairs coming in and you'll slowly see it creep up live on YouTube, Electrex Daily Channel. So, it'll be fun to watch in real time. Going back and seeing when the day was that it started to become noticeable. Interesting thing to have kind of a... Uh, a video diary existing on the website. So far it's been a little over two years now and it's been fun to watch. I'm sure it will be a lot more fun as the years go by. And you'll be there with me, Larry, won't you? Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G and I hope you have a great silver hair.